everyone. Today, I would like to share with you my low-carb pineapple tarts recipe. It's flaky, buttery, melt in your mouth, and of course, delicious. This recipe has three elements. The pastry, the filling, and the toppings. Let's talk about the pastry. In this recipe, I will be using pork lard as this gives it a quintessential and distinct flavor exclusive to these types of pastries which are commonly sold in traditional Asian bakeries. But if you don't have pork lard, you can use butter instead as these two ingredients are more or less interchangeable. If you choose to use pork lard, just add one teaspoon of coconut cream or whipping cream. This is to replace the liquid portion absent in the pork lard. However, if you choose to use butter, there won't be any need for such addition. This is because butter already has some liquid in it. You may use it on its own. Alternatively, you may click the link in the description box below to watch that butter-based pastry recipe. But if you want to use the pork lard-based recipe, simply continue watching this video. Let's move on to the filling. You may use my low-carb pineapple jam recipe and make it ahead of time. Just transfer it to a jar and store in the fridge until it's ready for use. Click in the description box below for the recipe. As for the toppings, you will need one beaten egg to brush on top and some sesame seeds to sprinkle on top. So again, you will need the pastry, filling, and the toppings. Let's make the pastry, making use of pork lard as fat. Here are the ingredients. Start by mixing the dry ingredients. In a food processor, add one cup finely ground almond flour, one tablespoon coconut flour, two tablespoon low carb sweetener of choice. Here I'm using xylitol. Add your one fourth teaspoon xanthan gum, one fourth teaspoon baking powder and 1 4th teaspoon pink Himalayan salt and blitz to combine. Scrape the sides to make sure that it's properly mixed. Do not overprocess. This step only took me around 30 seconds. Now you may add the wet ingredients. Add around 4 tablespoons or 56 grams of pork lard, one teaspoon coconut cream or whipping cream, and one teaspoon vanilla. Blitz to combine. Do not overmix. The goal here is to just coat the dry ingredients with pork lard. If you do it longer, this mixture will eventually turn into almond butter, making it too runny to form into shapes. And as you can see, it comes together quite quickly. And this dough is done. Cover with the cling film and chill in the freezer for 30 minutes to set. After 30 minutes, roughly portion the pastry dough into 16 pieces. Flip 
flatten a piece of dough between two pieces of plastic sheet around 3 mm thick. Use a plate to press down the dough. Add around 1 half teaspoon of the filling into the dough. Do not overfill as you might have a hard time sealing it. Do keep in mind that the finished product using this jam will have a flatter look compared to the conventional pineapple tarts that you see in the market. This is because the original recipe uses a lot of sugar and pineapple. This sugary mixture, when reduced, produces a very thick and chewy jam, which has enough stability to form into balls. However, if you want to add more stability to this low-carb pineapple jam filling, here is a trick just for that. Add some almond flour to the jam and mix it together to produce a thicker paste. This way, the tart won't flatten as much during the baking process. I chose almond flour over coconut flour because coconut flour doesn't really melt in your mouth and it tends to dry out the tart. But feel free to use coconut flour if you want. Just add it little by little at a time until you get the desired texture without drying it out. Taste for flavor and texture. You may form the filling into 16 balls for an easier assembly later on. Once the desired texture is achieved, Give it a taste and see if you need to add a bit more of pineapple flavor, citric acid, sweetener, or food color. I decided to add a bit more of these. I even added red food color to make it orange. Here's a comparison between the two versions of the jam. The one with the almond flour is more stable and didn't flatten as much, while the one without extra almond flour turned out to be a bit flatter. Nevertheless, both are still very good, so feel free to choose between the two. To be safe, you can do a test piece for each type. You can bake one piece without the almond flour, you can bake another piece with the almond flour. This way, you can make a sound decision. Coat the tarts with oat fiber or finely ground almond flour for extra flaky crust. However, this step is optional.
freeze the tarts for 30 minutes before baking. Brush the tops with a beaten egg. And then sprinkle with some sesame seeds. Bake at 180 degrees Celsius for around 10 to 15 minutes or until golden brown. And it's done. Here you can see the extra flaky layer that has formed. This is due to the extra coating of oat fiber that we did earlier. And here is a comparison between the one filled with plain jam and the other one mixed with almond flour. Both are very delicious, so feel free to choose between the two. Just remember to make a test piece for each type, so you can decide which one you really like. And here are the tarts after being stored in the freezer for one day. Based on my observations, they remain flaky, tender, and not hard at all. So please store these tarts in the freezer instead of the refrigerator to retain its flaky texture. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more low carb and keto friendly recipes and ideas.